one and all present here. Today we are here for a webinar session with one of the most creative person. Please welcome designer Harsh Gupta, the founder of brand Harsh Harsh. He is live with us from Mumbai city. We all are aware that what kind of great passion he holds for his work and we all admire him about his talent and hard work. He is a NIF topper 2000 batch, 2004 batch and has received gold medal for best design from the Honorable President of India, Sir Abdul Kalam, along with many awards after a great journey, which includes featuring in Vogue and designing for celebrities like Deepika, Karina and many more. Today he is with us to enlighten with few interesting design related topics. I really pay gratitude towards Mr. Harsh Gupta for taking out his precious time for Heights students. Also, we are thankful for our honorable directors, Deepak Sir and Anjali Ma'am, for providing all of us with this level of platform. Now I would like to request our guest, Mr. Harsh Gupta, to start the webinar session. Thank you so much. I think it's a, thank you very much. I feel it's a very, very sweet introduction. Uh, I frankly didn't think of it. I, I had no clue, you know, as to, um, you know, such a sweet way you guys will introduce me. So I'm very, very touched, frankly speaking to all of you. It's very sweet, you know, I mean, who does it on, on, a, on a camera? You know, it's mostly, you know, I'm so used to going to seminars and things like that, where people just like, you know, kind of, uh, you know, uh, honor you by their kind words and things like that. But on a, on, a, on a like live session, it's so very touching. Thank you very much. So I hope all of you are wonderful, first of all. All the students, yeah, are you all good? Yes, all of them. All of you say yes, no, whatever, yeah? I want to know. Yeah, all of you are good, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Good, good, good. Okay, okay, I understood. I got it, I got it. So great, I mean, I'm glad that, you know, your spirits are high and you are there in Jaipur, in safe place and things like that. Um, I think uh, before I begin, I want to pay my gratitude to, uh, you know, Deepak ji and ma'am, because, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, sometimes when you're wanting to do something in life, it's only possible when there, when there is somebody with you. You know, it is just not possible if anything you feel, look at it, whether you're a designer, if you want to design, you need a master, whether you want to do something to somebody, there has to be somebody to receive it. Likewise, it's a chain. So, you know, uh, I feel uh, Deepak ji and ma'am, I think their whole, uh, you know, will, I think, you know, they are very, very, very young at heart kind of people who are, they, I, you know, when I speak to them, I feel they're very eager uh, to do something. I mean, you know, especially Deepak ji, but I mean, I've spoken to him mostly, I mean, every time, 99%. And I see a lot of passion in him. So, I mean, you know, and I, uh, when first time I met you guys, I mean, a few of you who may be here, who worked with me in past, you'll realize that, you know, I really, you know, you, you were also grounded, no tantrums, you were so humble. So it also showed, you know, the way, you know, your college has groomed you, you know, what I'm saying groomed means because it's also a lot of learning, like there are your second parents somewhere. You know, you know, once you leave your home and you come to a college, I think you become like, you know, under somebody else's, control so you know so i think the way they have and your parents have groomed i think it shows so i feel i'm very thankful to god to have introduced heights of you know uh, uh, fashion as an institute to me and uh, you know i found uh, like now i don't feel separate frankly speaking to you i feel like i mean it's like my institute and i feel it's like my family and i feel sort of responsibility and a kind of connection so i don't even feel like you know, like I'm doing something. I feel like, you know, you guys are here, they are mine. And, you know, you know, I don't know. I just feel this. I, I can't explain this. Yeah, sorry. You know, so, um, so it's just a feeling that now I own you. I own the Deepakji. I own all of you. So you belong to me. So I had to address you. So it's like that. So thank you very much for having me and honoring me. So nice of you, Harsh. Yeah. So nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. I think thank you I thank my parents. Thank you from our side also, and we are just, you. yeah, you're just awesome, I feel. <laughs> no, no, I think, you know, ma'am, I tell you, I think it's a lot of blessings of parents, ancestors, forefathers, everybody together gives you these kind of thoughts. So if I'm good, I think it's also my upbringing, my parents, you know, the way they have brought me up. All of that leads to a person who you become, you know, so I mean, all praises to them and God, you know, if anything good I have. Anyway. I um, would like to know about about your journey, fashion journey, your education, your fashion journey, everything. Yeah. 
so I uh, graduated right from, I mean, it's going to be a little long, so don't get bored. Or, uh, you know, I just don't know how to cut it short because it's many platforms. It's many, uh, uh, you know, uh, steps that really, uh, you know, together brought me here. So uh, I hope you all are ready. I don't you want don't to bore anybody to, for sure. You don't have to cut down because you could be a role model for my students. So you have to tell each and every okay. point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so I, right from my childhood, uh, have been very, uh, I'm feeling very shy actually. I feel like I'm telling like my biography or something at this age, but yeah. Okay, so I, right from my childhood, um, I think, A, first of all, at this age, I, not only at this age, I think I've always realized God has made me for a reason. I know my, my purpose, you know, I know that why I'm born is something that God wants to create and I'm one of those mediums chosen and I feel very grateful that God chose me, you know, two other than so many people God has chosen for different, different things. So right from my childhood, I was very, very intuitive, very, very uh, passionate about work. I would be at the age of five or six, maybe four, four, five or six, you know. I would decide what I want to wear, first of all. I mean, I will go to my sisters. So by the way, guys, I also hail from Lucknow. My expedition started from Lucknow. So I'm born in Lucknow. So I live in Bombay, but I was raised in Lucknow. I was born in Lucknow. I studied in Lucknow and things like that. I mean, on basics, you know. Uh, coming from a great family, I feel thankful. Yeah, so um, I, in my childhood, I would be so, um, I mean, decision making was one power God gave me. I don't know how I was just like about deciding. So at the age of five, six, I would go to my sister's, uh, you know, I would first of all decide what my sister will wear or what my mother would wear. Like, I mean, I'm, I will have a say. Not that I mean, you know, I'm forcefully saying, you know, I have to prove a point to anybody, but I naturally had the instincts to tell what is wrong and what is right. And uh, I, uh, you know, and I used to then slowly, slowly, I started growing up. I used to paint a lot. My parents, my dad, um, you know, he used to never discourage me. My mom, my nana, nani, my dada, they, nobody, you know, they were very supportive, uh, you know. So they used to bring me uh, canvases and paint colors. So I think, you know, somehow kind of I started uh, being free with these mediums. I, I used to just paint and paint. I don't know, God knows what I used to paint, but I used to paint. And uh, so it was natural. Then slowly, slowly clothes. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know where in television 90s. I'm, I'm a 1981 born. Okay. So uh, in 90s when television came, I mean, I don't know where. I mean, so things were influencing my head. And I used to, you know, take these practical. So in, in during my, uh, you know, ninth, eighth, not eighth, ninth, I think. When I was young and they were in eighth, eighth nine, my cousins and, you know, family people, when they had these you know, biology uh, subjects and they had to do those drawings of heart and, you know, all those kind of things. I used to be the one who would be drawing. And then slowly it was in me and things like that. I used to go with my sister and I would like go to the shop where she was buying her, you know, uh, clothes, fabric. And I would buy simultaneously for myself also. And I'll go to my dad's tailor and I'll tell him that, Dad, you know, why don't... And I had a say, so I mean, I knew technicalities and I, I mean, I didn't want to... It's just that I enjoyed wearing some something different. It's not about that I had to ever prove a point. So I used to just go to that shop, pick up the fabric, whatever, I, I mean, whatever polka dots and this and God knows what. And I would just go to a tailor and I'll go to my dad's tailor who was a little more ready to listen to because obviously he was dad's. My dad is from politics, you know, he was from politics and he's from business background. So I used to listen to him and I would be like, you know, so, uh, you know, uh, you know, so I used to go to my master and I used to tell him that, you know, look, uh, you know, why don't you do one thing? Give me two buttons here. Give me, uh, then leave a space of one inch and give me three buttons and then last one space and give me five buttons. I don't know what was it for me. I mean, just strange at that age of six, seven, eight, you know. Then I would go and I would say that, you know, everybody is having cuff like that. I, why don't you fold it instead of like that? I mean, just fold it like that. I'm just weird. I mean, I don't know, weird or good. I, I think it was good. I like it. I love myself. Yeah. So, you know. So I did all those things. I mean, I would wear different things, which are not usually, you know, like my parents, considering he's from, you know, my dad is from business and politics. And I mean, you know, that kind of uh, powerful background he's from. Um, he used to feel like, you know, a little strange that, you know, how my son is like dressing up like a totally like a maverick, you know, like a crazy chap. So sometimes he used to be like, you know, dress up decently and I would, but anyway, I was a rebellious child. 
I would do what I want to do and I would make sure that I do what I want because I felt there was nothing wrong and why you should feel, I mean, if you're not wrong, you're not wrong, right? So you should have that confidence in you. Uh, you're not killing anybody. You're not murdering anybody. You're not doing anything wrong. I mean, you're expressing yourself through clothes. So, I mean, I felt it was, you know, why should I be opposed? And then uh, I would, go, and I had confidence. God gave me confidence, the power to think. I would go and participate in Mr. Lucknow at the age of, uh, you know, whatever you say in my high school, maybe. And I was five four, and you know that time, five four height. Just imagine that kind of confidence I had. I, I used to think that I'm somebody. I'm I'm just too good, you know. So I would go and participate in Mr. Lucknow with the guys are like six six feet, and I'd be the shortest. Uh, that's their problem. How they selected me, God knows how. But whatever, you know. I think I paid the fees so they selected. It was, me. it was, it was, it was your confidence. It was your confidence all the way. Mm, yeah, the, the yeah, you, you can life. count as yes, Deepak ji. I think yeah, I would say it's one of those powers that God gave me. You know, the feeling that I'm somebody, and mm. uh, you know, and uh, I would go and I sing in front of, and I would, and I would, go, and I'm good. I was good in singing. I mean, now I don't practice much, but dancing, singing, all the creative things basically. And I would go and participate in something called Lucknow Motsav in Lucknow, and I would there'll be crowd of like ten thousand, twenty thousand people, and I'll go and sing, and I'll feel like I'm so good. I'm like. You know, I'll win. So since, Just a thought. since you are from Lucknow, so you must be having a good, good command on Hindi and Urdu also. I am uh, good in Hindi. My Hindi is very good. I think I speak uh, very uh, Hindi is very good. But I feel very comfortable with English. You know, certain things I feel like I can understand in Hindi. But I feel like I think I just feel very flowy with English. It's just so smooth, you know, ki pata hi chalta hai, you know, Aisa nahi, I think, you know, subconsciously, I, you know, it depends, you know, depends, you know, once the conversation in, in that kind of thing is happening, I will exactly. speak in Hindi also. Urdu is not that good, but haan, sh- meri, okay. sh- malab, Hindi is good, I'm good. So anyway, after that, uh, I wanted to take, be a designer. I was clear, I used to make croquis, drapes at the age, again, at eight, nine, you know, in 90s, I used to make, so I would be 10 year old, right? When 90s, uh, no, what would be my age? Uh, yeah, so like, yeah, 10 years, correct. So I'll be 10 year old and I will like draw croquis and, you know, like garments and eyes and expressions and hair and clothes at that age. And I would know different drapes, which people learn now. So I think this was the plan of God. I was just one chosen one. And I mean, I know it very well. So anyway, so I wanted to become a designer, but my family had kind of, you know, uh, some people, people had kind of, you know, told me that NIFT is very difficult to crack. You know, it was, you know, how, what I, Deepak Ji, what I mean, I right? Yeah, yeah. Like I had been like having this fear, which has been, instead of encouraging me, it was like fed in my head that, you know, some, you know, my, uh, whatever, few people, it's okay. You know, that that's their understanding. Because that they were also not intentionally telling me. They were just telling because what they felt. So it was like IIM, IIT. And they were like, it's very difficult in this and that. So I had dropped the idea of going to NIFT. And uh, I was like, I need to become a designer because that's what I see myself as. And I know I'm going to be. So what do I do if not NIFT? So which had, I had already decided that I'm not going to go through NIFT. That's what I'm, uh, the whole head had decided. So I said, let's just join a fashion student. Um, I was started looking out for a, you know, easy... Uh, uh, way out. So I went through a college in, in uh, Lucknow and uh, you know, it's what was the name? I forgot uh, something. So I, uh, you know, they, there was no, you know, they just took me and things like that. That's fine, you know. And I I started going to them. My, da- my dad, he never said no to me by the way. My dad never said no to me, ever. Uh, you know, I flunked in seventh standard by the way. I repeated it uh, you know, <laughs> again. So it's okay. I think it's my journey. I just wasted one year. That's what I feel. But uh, but it's fine. I think my, I'm very happy with my life. I think only I just feel I shouldn't have wasted my time. But anyway. So, uh, but my dad was never like whatever. So I joined that college. My dad paid full fee. And then uh, after a few days, I went to the college and I was like, I don't like this light. I don't like the flooring. I don't like the chair of where I sit. Dad, I don't want to go. You know, I was weird. Okay, I was a hard, like I was a man, I was not normal, I, did, I don't think I was normal, I was some something different. 
so my dad is like are you sure about it i said yeah i'm not enjoying the chair and i think even like one day a teacher came to me and said like uh, aap catchy se isko kaato to i didn't like catchy i said ye catchy se kya kaato you know i don't want to join this college <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not discuss- i'm just i i was mad so just consider this is a mad story okay don't get very inspired by me so uh, because you know i was really like behaving like a uh, crazy chap i mean i was crazy of course who says no because uh, today if i've given a chance i think you call it catchy or whatever i'll i'll still learn okay so that was my time so i'm just telling you guys so don't if somebody calls it catchy don't get be like okay i'll not work it's fine you know i will listen to everybody who calls it okay? my master calls it catchy only now now what do i do anyway so um I loved that college. Then my dad had enrolled me to another institute where there was like I was learning Adobe Photoshop and that, and it was very new. You know, computer was very new thing that time. There were this big, you know, kind of computers that time. And I went there, and I was again, you know, bored over there. So I said, Dad, I'm getting, I'm not liking the atmosphere. Yeah, I want to leave. And then again, he paid the whole fee, left again.